Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a surprise RC review uh, because uh, today we are going to take a look at the Cheerson drone and it's a new model is the CXOF and uh, that comes from optical flow sensor so Cheerson is really advancing uh, their uh, tiny series quadcopters so this is uh, similarly sized with the highly popular JX10 size quadcopter but it's uh, uh, completely redesigned and much more uh, interesting uh, nano quadcopter so here are some uh, specifications if you want to pause and uh, have a look at them uh, it has a similar flight time uh, with previous models it has uh, uh, similar functions but and when I say but uh, that means that uh, until now uh, they never had optical flow and they use uh, app control and transmitter control and it has a camera and this will uh, follow your gestures it will dance uh, and you can control it using your hand just like a spark <laughs> but it's not a spark it's a cheer sun so look at it tiny really tiny and it has a small camera of course don't expect uh, HD quality from it but this is like uh, on uh, spy movies just imagine uh, how this would have looked uh, 10 years ago uh, such a small quadcopter with camera and with another camera here which is the optical flow sensor uh, what uh, this means is that it's constantly scanning what is underneath it uh, it determines the patterns of uh, or the textures and uh, it knows to correct this position so this works uh, let's say like a indoor positioning system and this is found on a, a very expensive quadcopters such as the phantom 3 professional phantom 4 uh, those quadcopters have uh, optical flow positioning and there is also W L toys no sorry uh, XK uh, quadcopter that uh, has that function and uh, from my knowledge uh, that's the other uh, cheap quadcopter with such advanced technology uh, this is very cheap also so uh, it's very nice uh, it also comes with a thick manual with a lot of instructions and links for the application explanations for the applications and so on there is a lot of things here uh, and it looks to be in a good English understandable English with no major mistakes and re uh, reasonably well to understand what is written and another surprise with this is uh, the transmitter which is yet again redesigned and looks like this and another nice thing about it is that it will charge with USB power through this jack here so you won't need to use uh, batteries again so uh, look at that it also has a built-in smartphone holder which can hold really big phones so this is a 5.5 inch screen mobile phone and it still fits inside so you can have app control FPV over Wi-Fi on your mobile phone through the application and still have proper control using sticks and talking about the sticks these are not the regular joysticks you have these are slider joysticks yet another novelty but they feel uh, really comfortable so it will be easy to pilot it they are also self-centering so uh, it's nice this also has position hold so I'm talking about it a bit too much probably uh, of course you get uh, rate modes fast and slow you get flips automatic takeoff and landing and this is the rechargeable transmitter so you just hook it on to the USB cable and that's it so 
let's see what else we get in the box we get a bag with another set of spare propellers a USB cable for charging the transmitter and another USB for charging the uh, battery inside the quadcopter the battery is not replaceable so uh, you cannot swap the batteries you need to charge this and fly it later when the battery gets defeated you don't have any chance of quickly replacing it so you need to wait when the battery is finally dead after a lot of uses you need to take this apart and replace the battery inside you also get this nice tiny uh, spanner this is for removing the propellers which is also uh, very good and I don't know what these silicone pads are because they came out very easily and they do provide nice grip here and probably uh, that is their intended function but you are probably going to lose them because they come out too easy from uh, their place so I have uh, installed the uh, mobile uh, application it's uh, called uh, CX uh, OF just like the quadcopter it's uh, available free on Android market so I'm going to power on the quadcopter and I'm going to open the app but probably first I need to select the wireless from the tiny quadcopter yes it's visible and I have connected to it and let's click here connect Wi-Fi Wi-Fi connected so let's see what we can do free flight and we get controls but there is no image I would like to see some FPV footage from it is it possible to do that I can control the camera from here geography choreography sorry folder mm, pictures Did you take a picture no setup right hand mode, screen rotate, sound effect now it says here connected so now it should work and yes now I do have FPV footage so it's working now it wasn't connected to the to the mobile phone Wi-Fi the application didn't uh, detect the connection so now it's working and I can also turn on the transmitter and I can control the quadcopter from uh, this and still have uh, video on uh, the mobile phone which is the best of uh, both worlds because I don't uh, really like to control the quadcopters from mobile phone although it's uh, technology that is picking up I don't feel comfortable of uh, rubbing my fingers on the screen to get control I prefer the traditional way with the sticks it's more precise and it's much more controllable uh, the application uh, also has some uh, other features beside uh, having FPV video and uh, controlling the camera you can set uh, your phone uh, and quadcopter in, in a gyro mode so by tilting the phone it will control the drone you can do flips from here, you can set uh, the speed rates and you can uh, use this follow path where you can uh, uh, draw something like that and the quadcopter will execute it uh, you should be very careful with that because the quadcopter has no way to measure uh, things like wind and uh, uh, how much this is really is for it so it will start doing that but uh, it's not going to be precise as it doesn't have uh, GPS or other thing uh, it does have that optical positioning but that is another thing it's not a way to measure how it should go or uh, 
where it should go like this so it shows that it's executing the pattern luckily it's now turned off and it doesn't have enough battery uh, for flying but for our uh, first uh, test uh, it's okay so uh, that was the first part of the review um, definitely I need to fly this uh, uh, I don't know if outside but inside another time I need to charge it it will take some time and uh, I will uh, try these uh, flight modes and I especially interested about the optical flow sensor and how well it performs so until next time Bye-bye.